Hello everybody, this is Sonia. I'm in Australia and today I'm going to come on here to show you something else to do with in this series and I'm going to show you how to make flowers out of your um, fabric scraps. I'm sure that you've probably seen such a thing before. I've done many over the years but not exactly in a series, maybe just in a, a video with something else. But anyway, let's, let's have a go at making some of those today, alright? Um, Right here, now I've got some packets of strips here that I've been sorting and keeping <laughs> to start with. And I do, I will pick out a couple that I'm liking. I do like the blue for a flower, and I do like the yellow, of course maybe something not too busy for me you know I don't want to because um, then I can fix up the middle right okay so let's just try these to start with okay using up your scraps a bit. okay now um, we are recording that's good I hope you don't mind if I put this on I'll start that I did press stop and it started but that's okay we <laughs> Worry about that. Oh, no, I'll have a mouthful of water. I did not even hardly get past the last video where I just put the stuff to the side here <laughs> and booked it to dry. So now I'm going to do these flowers, which you can do out of lots of different things besides the fabric. But you've only, you've only got a small piece of fabric and you do not, do not have this colour. Right, we're going to do lining again. <laughs> And do some ironing again with this thing. If you did watch the last thing, you'll see that I've been playing with the hair straightener to iron my pieces. Now, as as a rule, there is a depends on the width of your fabric what the width of your flower is going to be. So what I might do to start with is cut this down the centre and make it smaller to start with by tearing it, if I can get hold of it, there's a big nice long piece there, I should have just left a bit of it not torn because then I could have used a different colour, different size couldn't I, but as it is, this is going to be a small one, it's okay, I mean, I've got to wait for this to get hot before I start using it too I suppose, would have been a really good idea, okay, now I'm going to take all these frilly bits off. All the frilly bits. Okay. I do love the frilly bits. I do love the frilly bits. I know. So I'm just going to do maybe a couple of these. I might do the blue one a bit different. So I'm going to. I'll show you how to do the blue one, but I'll just do a bit of ironing on the blue. Not too much because depends on your well that's good size, only need a bit. Depends on how wide your fabric is, how big your flower is going to be. And then you gotta work on the length of that. So um I'm gonna show you how I do it. Um and then you can decide which way you want to do it if I can do a couple of ideas for you. I might get another piece. It's a bit wider. Um, I don't think this one needs ironing anyway. I might use that too. Okay, so let's do that. Right. Now, I've actually fixed my stand <laughs> by pushing a very thin old crochet uh, crochet needle down in the in the, <laughs> in the side of it so that it wouldn't wobble around everywhere now um, I think I don't need to, you can't see this I can tell you anyway okay so um, I'm thinking that I might just do this first all right I might just put the um, oh, that's too big that needle I don't like that sort of I told you I like a nice thin one that's not too... You must be on the table here, is it? Okay. 
I was using a minute ago. What did I do with that? <laughs> Brilliant, Sonia. Hmm. I know it was waving around here somewhere. Here it is. In the... Goodness me, wouldn't it? That is not it, but it will do. Why would I put it in there? Goodness sake. I probably wasn't paying attention to what I was doing with it, to be honest. I guess I'll use this one. It's a little bit thicker than what I would like, but anyway. A bit of thread. And real easy this is. People who can't sew or think they can't sew, <laughs> I've never tried it before. And you can try this because it's not hard at all. This is what I was just looking for a minute ago and I couldn't see it. So here it is now. Let's see if I've got a good needle in here that I'll, I'll be more likely to use. I do have a bit of an issue too. If I find if I find that if the um, eye in the needle is too big, the thread will keep falling out. If your thread's only small, you know, like it's not too th thick, but it's only anyway. That's a that's another thing, I guess, and you just need a nice needle that you're comfortable with, something that's reasonably sharp. And then I'm just going to just gather this until I like what I see, okay? Now that piece there is coming through the middle. So now I've just pulled that out of there. And oh, I might cut that off now because I... <laughs> okay, Sonia. Right. You've seen me do these lots of times, I'm sure. And I'll just do a small stab stitch, try to keep reasonably close to the edge. And this is a good frilly flower. Good frilly flower. And then you're just going to measure it around as you go. And I've got another thread missing there, but I don't think you're going to be able to see that yet. Yeah, this looks I'll cut that off before I pull that out too. Make a mistake. Now what do I think? Is it too a bit more gather? I think it averages about 20 centimetres. I'm just, I just have a feeling that that's what, what I've been used to doing. It just depends, I suppose, what you're looking for on the day. I just feel like you want to make. And then again, it could be just a surprise to you, couldn't it, really? Now just pull up around there. I still, I better stop fraying this. I'm going to end up with nothing in a minute. You tell me I've got a knot in it. Now that's a piece of fluff. Very rarely I leave the house without taking a bit of the fluff with me. <laughs> okay, so there we go, that's about right. So now, before I do anything else, I'm going to take it and I'm going to measure it like this. This is not a 20 centimetre one at all because this is only really thin. It's nine centimetres. That's nine centimetres and that's about a centimetre, a centimetre thick, that piece of um, cotton. Uh, fabric so I'm going to just push it up there like so <clears throat> and then I'm going to put the I'll go right to the end first should I went right to the end and then I'm going to put that onto this bit here All right hang on to it with your fingers and just pull it up tight tight enough and then you're going to go through both these side bits these end bits so that I hope that's pulled up far enough it should be I went too far did I no, not really I just did one small back stitch so far that's not bad I like that it looks pretty cool doesn't it Love that and it keeps fraying. <laughs> I do like the fraying bit. I'm not going to sew right up there to the end because I don't think I have to. I'm just doing a, a back stitch and a knot here at the corner at the beginning and the end. Righto. Now cut that off. 
and then you've got a, a straggy flower, which I really, really love that. So it, is, it turned out really cool, didn't it? It really did. And now we need to just put a centerpiece in the middle, which we're going to do that in a minute when we do this other one. Now the other one may be a 20 centimetre one, I don't know, which is you know, the length of that ruler, and I don't think it needs to be. The smaller the width of your piece of fabric, like so, the less you've got to go out this, the less you're going to need that way. The wider it is, the more you'll need because of the, I don't know, because of something that's got, and this is going to have to be torn down here because I don't like the in fact, it's got that crease on it, and, and I wanted to make it a bit bigger. So I'm going to keep this full piece on here. I am because I'm. I might need that. I think that's going to look awesome. I'm going to put a little heap. Going to make a few of those, won't we? We'll make a few of them. Fray it is good. <laughs> now, I'll do the same with this one. You can. <coughs> Not have the frayed edge if you like. You can turn this under too, but I only do that when I've got lace that's really sheer and it and you've got to um this is not good, it's not cut properly. And you've got to make sure that you've picked it all up. If the lace has got you know lots of holes in it, you've got to make sure that you gather it up enough. This one hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm doing a bit better. Hope so. And, and I like, like I said, I like to gather it first, and then I'll, then I'll cut it to the size. It just makes me feel a bit better if I do that. You get me how that's going, see? Pretty cool. The wider one, I'm going to make a bit different. I've got the piece of fabric there for. I'll make him a bit different. I'm going to stop fraying this. <laughs> I'll end up with nothing else but fringy bits. I don't know. So it says a quarter to ten on that clock. I don't know what's going on. Feeling. <laughs> I think I've been in here since eight o'clock. Oh, I said, Dale, it's the same thing that did it to me. It's got me upset. It's all right of a morning, because when you get up, your day goes really slow, though. But then of a night time, when you think, oh, I'm tired, now I want to go to bed. <laughs> it probably only says 9 o'clock on the the clock, but, you know, you're tired because you'd be 10, wouldn't it, really? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, like Hubby said, if they want to change it, why don't they just leave it like that instead of swapping it back all the time? Because, you know... He just he used to feed the animals at four. Now four o'clock's five, isn't it? And the, I suppose they they understand the chalk of the dog, the cat, and the birds. <laughs> they might, they'd be understanding, I guess. I'm just going to sew part way up here. I'm doing the same thing as I did with the other one. And I just want to put a couple of stitches up, not all the way to the top. Okay, and then I'm going to. Cut that off. I'm going to open this up. Give it a bit of a squish, a twist, and a squish. I was thinking when I was doing that, that might look alright in the centre of that. It could do, but not today. That colour is not probably going to be helpful for me at all. I'm not a big fan of that colour. I might just stick this back in here. I'm talking. Right. <clears throat> so now we've got that one. I need to, I'll have centers for those in a minute. Um, you can have buttons, you can have beads. Uh, I've got a, a con, conglomerate. That's an interesting word of things over there. I don't know why they come into my brain. <laughs> anyway, so this one, what I'm going to do with this, I'll just take this end off because it's folded. I'm going to actually turn this I've got to see if it's inside the outside because it's just so much the same, isn't it? So I'm going to use about 20 centimetres, right, this one, and hopefully I'll have that right because this one I'm going to do a bit different. I wish I could tell the difference. 
I suppose it doesn't really matter. Oh, I said that it's not the silvage. Anyway, oh here, is that? Nope. Right, we're going to sew down the outside of this one here. And join these with some little stab stitches. And hopefully this will be the right size. As I said to you, um, it depends on the width, but it's not going to be this wide because I'm going to fold it over. So I've got a back stitch there so that doesn't pull through. Then I get this part here and I'm going to turn it over like that. And I'm going to put a stitch around the edge here. Okay. And because it's folded over, of course it's not going to be plenty of gather and it should work hopefully we should get it to work okay now there's heaps and heaps of different ways you can do flowers um, with, with the fabric the, the easiest ones are fun <laughs> you know I mean there's a lot that are, put a lot of work in them but it just depends I suppose what you feel like do one and this one is real easy for beginners and, and for even anybody else you know and these can go in your books or in your um, belly bands or make one put it on your head band or something or your children or something I don't know I used to make um, them and put them on my girls hair things jam lids my husband called them because <laughs> That elastic around them, and he said they looked like jam lids when I made them, their little hats. You know, by because you know how you put your, your your frilly piece of fabric around the top of the jam jar when you make your jam or whatever. So there you go, so that looks really cool, doesn't it? It's really nice. Makes it a little bit um, bigger. Now that was a 20, that was 20 centimetres. <clears throat> I'm really sure it was by, uh, I started out with 4 centimetres and I, I folded it over okay. So if you want to do that one. It's just a matter of practice anyway, um, until you get it right. And there's not much to pull out the pull out the um, bit of cotton, and then you can just use it for a small one if you haven't got enough. And that's not threading, probably is not here. Because I still still do want to do more ending off here. You can make ones do it by using petals and then sewing all your petals together. Um, maybe when I finish doing this series because I want to make all those things that are there and I want to do them over the next couple of weeks or week or so shouldn't take me too long hopefully three or four days a week I can put it up <coughs> see how we go I do have other things though that I'm really looking forward to making I've got a oh, I've been finding some awesome stuff oh dear and I reckon this has got to be where well, I'm sorting it out it's got to be good because now I'm going to be able to find hopefully what I'm after. I mean, I've dug some really neat things out of some of these boxes in here that I didn't even realise I still had. I don't know about that, but that's not too bad. And you can put a covered button in the middle if you wanted to. Different sort, of course. That's not quite the right thing. I have a lot of these bits over here, don't I, that I can put in maybe something in the little one. In the little flower's middle. Now, I would put um, something like this on the back, okay? I got those on the internet, I got a real lot, there was 100 or something, or maybe 50, I don't know, but they weren't very dear. Or if you've got a, um, and this felt, but it's really, really fine, so that's good. And you can stick it on the back of your flower, like so, if you want to do that, and then you fasten it onto whatever it is you've got. Now, I'd trim that down a tiny bit, because that might be a bit too wide for that, I don't know. Um, I have a lot of these sort of things which might look good on that little one but not very not very um, 
I don't know. <laughs> this one is nice. Look at this. It's got a bit of bling in it. Isn't that beautiful? I like that one. Then I have a few of these ones here. Um, and then you just stick them on. You can't sew them. They've got no... I don't think that's quite big enough for that. But I like it. And I can... I can remedy that, okay. Um, I have buttons, of course. Plenty of those. Might be too big. At, maybe not. Colour might not be quite right. How about that one? That's better. Okay. Now we need something for this one. I have these bigger ones here that I don't mind. I'll just do something with them, I think. I think that's what we'll all look at. I know why this won't shut. I've got these bits of string in and out of it. Just sitting up in me. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not fighting with you. You go back in there. <laughs> I'm fighting with you. I'm not a fighting person. So, on this, I'm going to put something else before I put this. Okay? And there's something else is going to be a bit of a flowerish sort of thingy. I'll find the idea here. I've got the idea. It's in my head. The idea's in my head. I don't know if I've already cut out some of those. I could have done. Um, I actually found a piece of quilt here. <laughs> I knew it was here somewhere, but... It's actually a quilted um, pillow thing, and it's oh, it's vintage enough. I'm using that. <laughs> there we go for that other thing. I'm using it for the uh, Roxy Journal of Stitchery thing. Come on now. Uh, what am I looking for? I forgot. <laughs> oh, Sonia. Now look at here. This is a little pot of little. This is a pot of little buttons that I couldn't find. But I, I'm thinking they're all shiny, and I don't think I really want to use that. I need a um, the idea on this uh, thingy. I know what I'm looking for. If we just give me a second, I want to. Oh, they're not in, the, in this bag that I brought in this morning. I hope so. If I've got one in there. I do. I do have one in there. Now, this um, bag that I'm doing now, this box of stuff, it's got a lot of um, laces and things in it. And I'm using pieces to make bits like this. I'm cutting them bits out, but that's not what I'm using now. On here I want this tiny piece. Here we are. Gotcha. Come here. <laughs> ah dear. And I've cut out a few um cut out a few pieces of pictures because we're going to do some pictures too later on. Now I don't know what I'm thinking about that. I'm just I'm just testing, okay? We don't get upset and scared. I'm just going to test. <laughs> see what I think. I haven't done many of them. Right, let me see. Now, we can put that on, but it's an apricot, and it's not bad. Not not, not bad, you know. Um, we can put this white one behind this, this thing, or this thing here. I think I might want that to be a bit bigger, the back piece. I don't think I want it to be that bit bigger. Um, this one here, I'm good. I'm good with this. I'm sticking this one on. I'm liking it. I might just sit that on there too. It's a good size. It's not too bad. It's not too big. So you put these. You can use a piece of paper if you wanted to. It doesn't really matter. But round, cut a round piece of paper. But a round bit of felt or something that doesn't fray. I've already got the fraying thing on the top. <laughs> And this little business here, it doesn't have any holes, but it will hold on here after this glue starts to stick. It will not go anywhere. Now that's really an awesome piece to use in your um, slow stitching or anything. Where's this? 
What I did with it? What did I do with that? <laughs> Come on, Sonia. Dries clear, so that'll look nice. Okay. Hope you can see more. Right, I'll show you up close in a minute. Now I'm not a big fan of that on there. Okay, so that's not going to work. Let's see if I've got something in here that might work on it. I should have another. I probably should look in here in the first place. Uh, so we're looking at something in the blue. We want to put something on the blue. I do like that, but I'm thinking I need something else behind that. And the pink one, the pink one, that's awesome. I think it's too small. Maybe it's too small. Too bulky. So something, something's not right with it. Okay. Oh, you'd think I'd put these things in a um, place where I could find everything, wouldn't you? I don't think I would sit that on there. Um, it's in this one. Eh. <laughs> That's funny looking. Maybe I'll just... other flower in the middle of that flower yeah. how about this flower that thing there and the thing in the middle of it there how's that look that's not bad is it okay right now I'll put these few back in here I think so I'm not going to be losing them everywhere oh, that's a nice pink one mm. button Buttons are good to use on these things. Buttons are awesome. Now let's just leave a few bits there till we get something to practice on. I've been searching for a certain piece of lace. <laughs> and I'm going to... I found a bit. <laughs> I know that's hard to, to for you to understand, but I'm just looking for a certain piece of lace. But now I'm going to use a bit of this other stuff that I've got here. Where is that? Where is it? That's not big enough, is it? No. Maybe I could though, because it's got a bit of edge on that. It's not going to be frilly enough. Wait a minute. Hang on a second. Nobody panic. I want to put something thin on there. Um, I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do. I'm getting away a little bit from what I usually do, eh? Let's go. Let's go out there. You know, away from what I usually put on, because this would probably be the normal thing. I know. <laughs> I don't know if I want this or the stiffer one. I want the stiffer one, okay? So the stiffer one, we'll have a bit of a... Um, let's fold it over. I'm going to take a piece off this part of it here. I want to put that under there. Gee, Sonia, what did you do with that? Here it is. Oh, look at that. I put in the reel of cotton. I don't believe it. <laughs> well, there you go, eh? It'll never cease. Right. We're going to put this in behind this because I just feel like it might look good. Give it a little bit of a lift and it might work okay. Now I'm going to put two thicknesses, okay? And I'm going to sew, I'm going to knot them together. Roll that round, twist it and pull there and you've got this great big father knot, but it doesn't matter. Get that off there. Now, um, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Here I did. 
So when I'm doing this, I'm not going to worry about joining the ends like I did that one, okay? I'm just going to sew along because it, it's what it is. It's not going to hurt. But I'm going to show you, I'm going to go down in through these pieces and because they're, it's a very fine, holy thing, I'm going to come back through here and loop that. Loop it through, okay? So you definitely got hold of it. It's not going to come undone. Uh, and then you're going to go across here in between all these little holes and make a bit of a flowery thing. I'm going to go on top of there, all right? So I want this to go on top of here, okay? doesn't have a big impression, but it it's still it'll still look good. Now I'm going to not pull it in very tight in the center because um So, see how we go. Because I want it to. Okay, keep going. Now I'll have to tell you this is about a centimeter wide, so there would have been two centimeters to start with, and the length of this is going to be. I'll have to measure it for you if you just give me a second. The length of it is. Got glue stuck to me hands everywhere. Um, it's 20 centimeters. Okay, I just put it up against that ruler there. Now I'm going to come to the the beginning. I've got this bit here. Where are you? I've hooped. I've hooked that something around there. Look what I've done. What have I done here? I've looped something around there. It's not supposed to be. Unloop that, that's cool. Right, now, <clears throat> pull that up. Yep, not too far. Right, we don't want it too far. Just a bit, a bit more. Right, a bit more. Okay. <laughs> and now I'm going to do a back stitch on that. Cut that off. Like I said, I'm not going to worry about this bit here because hopefully it'll be looks like it's in the um, creases anyway you won't be able to see that so we can put that on there and we can either go with this thing and it makes it so pink doesn't it look pretty so pink and I'm sitting here thinking oh gee I could put some beads around there to that too could I? <laughs> you can you can do whatever you like it's all about you <laughs> it's not about any it's all about your your thing that on there actually maybe I do need a flower in the middle maybe I don't know this thing could work could when I say this thing I do have to use up these things you know because I do have a lot of them yeah all right that gives it a lot of flower then it's huge I don't think I'll do that I'm just gonna stick what I'm doing this is not sticking we're gonna stick in what you're doing it will after a while it will stick down in a minute or two. You just gotta hang on to it. Do I have a, a flower thing handy anywhere? How about a button? No, I think I'm gonna use this thing. Um, I'm going to use this little business here. It'll be fine. It'll work. Now, if it doesn't glue, if this doesn't glue down, I'm gonna have to sew it on. I'm going to have to sew the, the gauzy bit on the tulle, whatever. You can do it with, um, just keep it pressed on there, Sonia. It will work. It will work. It just takes a little while for the glitter glue, glue to dry on these things, that's all. It just takes a little while for them to dry. It's starting to, because I can see that it's hanging on. So that's that one, and that's that one, and now we need the blue one. What have we done with him? Really? Okay. <laughs> Sonia, where'd you put that blue flower? I hope I didn't put it in a box or a bag somewhere. Probably did. Probably threw it back in that box I was using there. can't believe this. I do believe it, because I'm always losing something here, aren't I? That's what I do at the, at the table for morning. Did I put it in here? I probably did. 
Here it is. I found it. Look, I think you've heard everybody that yelled at me. So I put it in that box. <laughs> okay, I got your message. Right, now, I think I wanted to put something behind this blue flower. I think I do. <clears throat> my little beads here, there's me. There's my buttons. You stick the other side away. It's going to work. It's going to work. It's going to work. I've got to make sure I've got it in the middle, though. That's that's an issue. I've seemed to have gone skew whiff on that. Too much fiddling around with it, Sonia. Anyway, so that's that one. Now this one here. I like the blue, I like these blue flowers. I really do, but I think it needs something else behind it. I wonder what that can be, Sonia. <clears throat> Something behind there. I might have to just let that go for the time being and, and um, come back and show you what I've done with it, you know, the next time on the next video, okay? So there's your flowers, some of them, there's three. There's, there's heaps and heaps and heaps out there to do. I tell you, there really is. This is going to go on the back of here. Then I've got to find the rest. Oh, I'm going to move that thing. I bought myself a new mat ages ago and it's still sitting up there in the cupboard. Should probably get this glass thing under from underneath here while I'm throwing stuff around. Make that terrible noise. I want to fix this one. I don't know what I'm going to do with it though because I don't know if I'm a very big, big fan of that barrier in the middle of it. That stuff on there, I don't know. A bit of stuff. Button, bead, I don't know. Doesn't seem to be anything that you can't see that. I'm not really a big fan of this, you know. I don't I'm not real keen on the colour. <laughs> I'm a strange bird, aren't I? <laughs> a strange bird. Okay, so that's not bad. It's, it's not too bad like that. Oh, I've got this little little subtle puffy thingy I could put on that. That looks a bit better. Oh no, I've got that yellow thing in the middle. Ah <laughs> oh dear, I'm a bit of a fuss pot, aren't I? How about if I put that on there and then put this in the centre? How about that? The blue and the pink. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm not keen on that. This, it's going to have to go over there and the, I don't want to do that one, it's too hard in the too hard basket that is I'm not real keen on that anyway so I hope you've enjoyed that and I'm going to go now and I'm going to come back on here in a few days or you know, and make um, the next thing on the list I'm not actually doing it uh, you know, in line or whatever I'm just making them as I go, I'll talk to you later. Stay safe. Thank you for watching, everybody. Bye-bye.